Hey there, TMV. We are back with another sport lesson. This time we are learning about golf. Golf is a super fun game. Now you may be thinking, wait a second, I don't have any golf clubs. That's okay. I'm gonna teach you a way to learn about golf without any golf clubs. All right, Leo is gonna teach you a little bit about golf and we are gonna first show you the different kind of uh, drivers and wedges and putters you can have. So right now, Leo is holding a wedge and can you hold it up to us? So it's called a wedge because of its angle here. Mm -hmm. And um, that is one of the golf clubs we have. Can you put that one back and show us the driver? Yeah, that, that big fat one. Now the driver is the one that you would use at the beginning uh, to hit your ball as far as you can down the fairway. And can you show us your putter? Oh, my putter. Yeah. So then, then after the driver, you would use your wedge to get it a little bit further down. The wedge does not hit it as far as the driver. And this is called a putter. And the putter is used to hit just a little bit. Right here? Yep. Oh, a little smaller swing. Right on the grass. There we go. And the putter is used to get it into the hole. So now you don't have to have this equipment to do this lesson. All you're going to need is a ball or a balloon and a stick. If you don't have a stick, you can use um, a toy garden shovel, a toy rake, anything. And if you don't have anything that could mimic a stick, I'll teach you a way to toss the ball, but still teach the right golf technique. All right, friends, Leo is going to demonstrate position for hitting a golf ball with a golf club. And then we'll show you how to do it with a stick and ball. So right now he is standing, the ball is in between his legs and about two steps away from his body. So two kid feet away from his body. And the ball is right in the center of the line of his body. His feet are pointing forward and straight. Now he's going to hold the golf club with his thumbs pointing down. And he has one hand above the other. So for Leo, he has his left hand high and his right hand low. He's going to wind up and then he's going to hit and follow through. Go ahead, Leo. Try again. Nice job. Can you show us with the white ball now? Take a step back, 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 back. And we'll hold on, stop before you start. Check your feet. Feet should be pointing forward. Good. And now is the ball right in the middle? Shift over, good. Now your feet are a bit too wide. Bring them a bit, there you go. And up and down. Try again. Whoa! <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Okay, friends, now Leo is close to the hole, which we are indicating by a cone. He has his putter, and it is a very small motion with your putter, but same idea. The ball is in between your legs, and your toes are pointing forward. Leo, can you make sure your toes point forward? Perfect. Now you don't raise it up too high. So you're going to have, you're going to have the same idea. Your thumbs are going to point down. Leo, check your thumbs. And you're gonna go a little bit off the grass with your putter. Oh, I mean to, what I mean is you are going to brush the grass with your putter by lifting it up and then back. Go ahead. Ooh. So that was too hard. So Leo, try again and try to hit it just lightly so the ball hits the cone. Nice. There you go. Well done. Okay, friends, we are gonna show you how to do this with a ball and a stick. So you're gonna do the same motion. So the ball is in between Leo's legs. It is about one to two kid feet away from his body. And he is holding the stick in his two hands and his thumbs are going to point down the stick and he has one hand and then the other so the hands are not on top of each other 
Now he's gonna bring his arms back and then he's gonna hit the ball. Nice! And he's trying to hit it toward the cone. So now, Leo, that's where your ball is positioned. Can you go and hit it toward this cone again? So he's taking one shot. Hit it towards this cone. Oh, oh, pause. This cone, this cone here. <laughs> and now, it's so close, it didn't touch it, so maybe one more shot. <laughs> and he got it. So in golf, we are trying to get the ball in the hole, or for you, the ball to touch the cone in the least amount of hits as possible. So Team V, if you don't have a stick or anything long to hit this ball with, that's okay. We still want you doing the same motion with your body. So instead of throwing it like you would usually do an overhand or underhand throw, you're going to toss it just at the same body motion. So you would stand with your toes pointing forward and your body, the side of your body, facing the direction you want the ball to go. And you're gonna to toss it to the side. So you're gonna have straight arms, lean down so your back, you're bent at the hips and your back is slightly towards the ground. You're gonna bring your arms back and forward and toss. So if I'm aiming at this cone, this is what it looked like. Team V, so this is a sand wedge. This is a golf club, and this one is an S, which means it's a sand wedge. And you don't need to know that. I just wanted to show you what a golf club looks like and how your body should be positioned to a ball when you're playing golf. So here I have my golf club. I'm going to hold it in front of my body with straight arms, and I'm gonna have my two thumbs pointing down the shaft of the golf club. And I'm gonna wrap my fingers around. For me, I have my left hand up top, my right hand on the bottom. So I'm not holding my hands. For golf, you're going to bend your knees slightly, have your toes pointing forward. My target is over there, so it is to the side of my body. I'm going to bring my arms up and this arm, so for me it's my left, is going to stay relatively straight. So I don't want to go up like a baseball bat. I'm going to bring my arms back. My front leg is going to bend slightly, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go through and end up with it over my shoulder, turning my body at the end, my back leg. But my front leg is still pointing that way. So again, I'm going to have the ball in front of me. So for you, it's about two kid steps. For me, it's the distance of hold my arms out and just let it fall. I'm going to have my toes pointing forward. They are straight and the ball is right in the center line of my body right in between my legs. I'm going to bring my arms up, and go down, and follow through. I'm just gonna hit it like that. Just like that. Okay friends, so now we are going to try to play a golf game. And like I said, we don't have the same equipment, so I'm hoping you have a stick or something that is long like this the end of a broom handle, anything. And I'm hoping you have some kind of ball. Now the bigger the ball it is, the easier this is going to be. The smaller the ball is, the harder it will be. If you actually have some kid golf clubs, right on. We have set up three cones on our grass and we are going to play a game. We are going to try to get this ball to touch the cone in as few shots as possible. So in the game of golf, usually you're trying to get the ball in the hole in about three shots, give or take. So that's our goal, to get this ball to touch the cone in three hits or less. And we have three cones, so let's go to it. So 
Team B, it is a tie. It took me three shots to get to this cone and it took Leo three shots to get to this cone. Let's try the next one. Team B, Leo and I tied the first hole and the next hole it took me two shots and Leo five shots. So I won the second hole. So right now I have one point and we'll see if Leo gets a point for the next one. This is our last hole. Here we go. That took me six shots. So Leo has to get this in less than six. Let's see. So Team B, Leo got that one in less than me, so he got a point there. So Team B, all you have to do is set up three cones. If you don't have cones, you can use anything. A toy cars, a rock, just to mark out where your holes are. And you need a stick. If you don't have a stick, you can use anything long. And a ball. Any kind of ball will do. If you have a big ball, it's going to be easier for you to hit it. Try to get the ball to the cone or the marker in three hits or three shots and do your best. If you get it there in a lower number than the person you're going against, you get a point. Have some fun. Team V, guess what? For a present for watching this whole video, we're gonna play a game of tag. Hello, TV. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Got him.